Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. And let's continue playing as the United States in our Hoi for Democracy Edition in uh, game campaign. Yeah, so cool. Uh, I'm just kind of looking at my Atlantic Strike Force fleet, which does contain four carriers, a battleship, three light, light cruisers, and 17 destroyers. I almost said 19 destroyers, but 17. Uh, these carriers, they use a ton of fuel. Holy cow. But that's okay. What I'm looking at right now is that I've tabbed over to Japan, as well as the Soviets, because right now, the Soviets aren't looking so good. They get, there's a major breakthrough right here, and this looks terrifying. Uh, the Soviets, they still have Leningrad, apparently. And Moscow is not looking good. That's really not looking good over here. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. But I did take over the Japanese, and they have basically no navy. The main strike force we beat up, or we've killed pretty much most of their ships. They have about 70 ships or so. And they literally have no more strike forces. Now they're all down to, to a maximum of like 13 or 14 ships per fleet. So basically, anytime we engage our fleet using our strike force, we will basically win the battle. That's pretty cool. That's really honestly pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I got eight subs. I'm going to wait till there's a few more here to, before I move them as well as over here. This patrol fleet, the Asiatic fleet, which is really just... Atlantic stuff now. Uh, they're doing okay. The screens, they have enough screens over here. Uh, operating Eastern Seaboard. Eh. Does anyone have upgrades? No, that's okay. What was that? Clemson class. Alright, cool. So, last time we took out Peru. We did a great job taking them out. And now we can finally go ahead and move these guys out of here. I want to station them over here in the very deep south. That would be interesting to see which way they go. Through Panama, hopefully up to the deep south. Oh. Okay, so we lost a destroyer. We lost one of our destroyers from our patrol fleet in exchange for a Japanese battleship. Not a bad trade. Not a, Really not a bad trade. Uh, how's this looking, though? Of course, our carriers and... Battleship need a little bit of repairs, but other than that, looks pretty good. Let's see. Uh, looks like, what is this? Task Force 7 needs more screens. What is this? To pan to the fleet. I mean, we're already there. Yeah. And our Marines, which will become very handy, are doing what? They are moving around. Alright. We've got one moving around. Oh! Oh, hello! Hello there! General Kenobi, you are a bold one. Cool! And we literally just saw us... Whoa! Whoa! We saw them sink the heavy cruiser and three planes, but I didn't see them sink that carrier, but... That's a sole survivor as a single pilot from a carrier fighter who flew away from the sinking carrier hull. That's insane. The one survivor of that small, small fleet group. Huh, that's gotta be... That's gotta be very sad, honestly. You're, you're flying away. Oh, God. They're now they're pride of the fleet. It's already received a critical hit. Total damage received was 48. This is... Honestly, this detailed screen... I wish I could mouse over there, but I already have my mouse on this carrier so we can actually see this. It's received two critical hits at 23% HP. Oh, my God. That's... Oh, this is like the third pride of the fleet we've sunk. Sunk by the USS Honolulu. Oh my gosh. Oh no, Moscow fell. Oh, this is such a mixed bag. Mixed ba mixed bag of emotions right now. Um, You, do you have orders? Where are you guys? You over here? Something like that. I think you guys have orders. I want you to go when you can. Like, seriously guys? Uh, please go. I don't care about your supply situation really. Uh, actually, don't do that, because that means we'll have to be in this sea zone and have sea superiority. Oh, god dang it. Ooh. Could we take the Bismarck Island right there, maybe? Oh, we've got one guy going. As long as we get one thing here, I'll be okay with that. Alright, so... Another light cruiser sunk. My, really, my goal right now is just to get to Japan. So, oh, lost a sub. We lost another sub. And we sunk two Japanese convoys. Oh my... Oh god, the fall of Leningrad as well? Jesus. 
Germany, what are you doing? I guess Germany and allies. I'm surprised that the UK hasn't been taken out yet, honestly. They have a single division? Are you kidding me? Guys, guys, why aren't you making any more divisions? They're probably thinking that they're secure enough with 230 boats. But the UK's boats, you know, their fleets, can easily be destroyed uh, with just a few hundred naval bombers. It's easily shredded. I've been there, done that. Oh, oh what's this? Some Venezuelan convoys. Well, those boys aren't going to make it. Ah, the M20 recoilless rifle. Very good. It's 1943. Half tracks sound pretty good to me. Ooh. Special forces. Ooh, we haven't done any of this. God, I'm so lacking all this. I've been spending so much time in my naval doctrine trees and whatnot that I've ignored so much of this. Recon. Uh, let's go with logistics since we are invading. And actually, you guys are 40 with the vision, so that's good. Actually, let's go to our tanks. I'm going to spruce them up now and add some more medium tanks on here. And motorized. Motorized infantry. Tried and true and always stays pretty much the same. I remember the old days when the meta was just... Oh, yeah, that's good. Was just 44 width divisions because that was... That was the day. Those were the times when you were really overpowered. And it was making... It made this game way too easy. Uh, let's see. Two planes, another plane. Alright, so did the Marine do anything? Good, the Marine did something. No, seriously, just... Oh, dang it, guys. I want you to come from here and invade there. You should be able to do that, right? Un unable to find valid path to target? Well, it's not letting me do that. That's, That's stupid. Come on. I want you to come here. Like, seriously, why... Okay, so this is this is broken, probably. That's probably what's killing it. There we go. Uh, don't come here. That's not a good idea, either. Oh, actually, this is a level 6 base of Caroline Islands? Holy crap, I did not realize that. So, which means you guys might be able to do something. <sighs> Please, can you get over... I know the supply situation isn't the greatest, but seriously, come on. Oh my gosh, seriously. Mm. Can you come from here to here? Oh my god. Okay, you are going. Okay, thank god. Whew. And then you will come from... Well, these islands are broke, so we're going to come from truck to here. And then we will come from... Truck should be okay. You know what? We've we have had success with this base. Well, we will have success with it. So we'll do this one as well. Good. And then we'll go come up soon to Saipan, hopefully. Good, good, good. Oh. All right. They're trying to bomb us out of here. Very good. Oh. Early sub hole from the Japanese, and we and we lost a sub. Do we have air complete air superiority? Pretty much. We maybe could use another group oops, of planes. And by planes, I'm talking about those heavy fighter twos. Now look at that range. It's not even enough as a heavy fighter two. An upgraded, slightly upgraded heavy fighter two to get all the region for the Mariana region completely within its airspace. But it does have pretty good range in the Bismarck Sea and Philippine Sea as well, so... You win some, you lose some. Cool. I always took another sub. Awesome. Marines, when you're ready to go, go ahead. All right. Very nice. And are you guys re are you repairing pretty well? How long will this take? Oh, not too long, actually. That's pretty awesome. Senator retires. We lost a few senators. And we can do a small lobbying effort. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Region-wide industrial integration. Well, yeah, let's save our manpower for our political power. I mean, for a little bit. We never know we, when we might need it. And we sunk four destroyers and another light cruiser. That looks like a patrol group or a convoy escort type of group. So that's pretty good. God, I've got so many divisions here when we invade Japan for real. So many divisions, as well as for the Axis, if I ever get over there. Which, if they capitulate the Soviets, 
Yeah, I'm going to probably take all of China if I can. And then we'll attack the Germans in Siberia and push that way. Which isn't very ideal, but, you know, whatever. Because I know the Germans are have pretty good soldiers right now. They have pretty darn good soldiers. And right now we're just waiting for our, our soldiers to attack uh, these islands. Let's see. Actually, let's make sure. Yeah, you guys have all orders. All of you have orders to get over here. Yeah, all over this place. Look at oh, Ace Pilot promoted. Looks like Australia's maybe coming back a little bit. We'll do this area as well, just in case. Carousel bombing, very nice. And we're kind of waiting for the air doctrine stuff. It's almost 1944. We're researching nukes. Good. Uh, let's get some M2 half tracks. Because we could use maybe a slight motorized upgrade. Let's see. Wait. Was that the flag of India? Hmm. Dominion of... Oh! Uh, hello! Dominion of India. You're not the Raj anymore? What the heck? Alright then. And actually, since I feel fairly confident... Oh, there's our army up here. They've made him. Good. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put you, who is over here, under Douglas MacArthur. I'm going to send you this way. I want all of you to position yourselves in such a way that if I call upon you, you can get into the water and start swimming. No. Get on a boat. Quickly. To move to Japan. Or at least to some of these islands, like Iwo Jima. And then eventually we'll get to Okinawa. Maybe even Taiwan. Alright. Very good. Have the Marines landed? Some of them, yes, have landed. And you, you, this division here, refuses orders. Well, I've got to court-martial you, probably, or something like that. But I'm going to wait till we get that airbase over here first. You did great work over here. Since you're already over here, you will invade from there and invade this island. Because the other guy, he's being a bitch. Alright. Oh, oh, oh boy. Do we have... Switch this to naval invasion support. Maybe I should have done that earlier. There we go. We got some carriers helping us out. And these marines, they almost all died in the water. 18% survived. That's not a good rate. Ooh. So you're going to hold it out. You're going to wait a while. And that's great. Really great. So this is done. So Which means this strike force can now be moved somewhere else. I'm going to move them from the eastern Micronesia Sea to the... I don't want to get attacked by their planes, really. Go to the Bismarck Sea. So we have naval evasion support and... Very good. And we're getting attacked. Oh my god, they're actually destroying convoys. Hello? Do we have any cover here? Please don't kill all my marines. Oh, nice. Shot down an enemy plane. And they've landed. Ooh, yeah, we, they definitely have some planes around here. Those Japanese. Ooh, we need better infrastructure over here. Oh, the Philippine Sea will definitely need some uh, heavy fighters. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's very nice. I mean, just like well, our, the Mariana region, we've got a good... We almost have the entire South China Sea covered. A good chunk of the East China Sea, as well as the Philippine Sea. Uh, we can do that. And do I have anything else? No? Anywhere else that really needs a little extra boost or anything? No, but I'm going to keep these planes here that we already have, just in case the Japanese might send some subs that way. I don't know. You never know what the AI might do. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, baby. Yeah. Definitely go ahead and heal up, guys. No supply from capital. Wait, what do you mean by no supply? I have... Hold on. Well, let's take a look. Resource. Supply areas. Oh. Allowed. I will allow supplies. And now you should be getting some supplies in, right? There we go. 18%. They're waiting for uh, equipment. Which will come over time. Tank experiments. So we get a bonus to armor technology. Which we don't really need very much of. We're playing right. Anti-Bolshevik aid. Well, you know, huh. send a thousand infantry equipment to countries at war with the Soviet Union. War plan Ruby, Dominion of India, War plan Red. Wait, that unlocks execute War plan Red. Okay. While active, spotting chance plus 10%, defense of the Pacific. 
Uh, Australia, New Zealand. War plan yellow against basically all the Chinese states. Uh, you know what? I don't really want to do that. I'm going to go with main battle tanks since I'm still using some medium tanks. And then we can get that as a company here. Oh, oh, they have some bombers here that really... Uh, well, you're the last Marine Division. I'm, well, to a degree, I'm kind of glad you didn't go anywhere. Because right now, I really need you to come here and invade this. Oh, they actually did have a port down here. I didn't realize that. Go ahead and do that. I don't want to lose any ships here. God, even with air super like good air superiority here, it's still not enough. What is this? This is the Atlantic Strike Force, and they're doing a pretty good job. Oh God. So Australia is definitely doing better down here in Papau, which I think they should have it under control. Oh my gosh, Free France is that your capital all the way out here? Holy crap, a new Caledonia. They have their new capital. Wow. Ooh, yeah. More soft attack. Good. Um, Air Force. Could I get something for Air Force? Less accidents. Night Operations Penalty, which could be very good. Over here, Commando. That's not bad for our Marines. More attack and defense. Bomber attack, defense, and agility. Close air support. Naval AA attack, tactical bombing, more ground support, holy cow. And amphibious invasion speed. Well, I like the naval AA. It helps shoot down enemy planes, especially if they're on carriers, because that, that could really help. What do we have for this guy? More attack, speed, training time, recovery rate. Well, I'm definitely going to go for offense, because we don't have Detroit Arsenal just yet. Very soon, but not yet. I could go total mobilization, but we don't really need that. Offense. I want to hit them harder. Hit them as hard as possible. And then you will be part of this group. We have 60 divisions on the East Coast, just kind of there. Wow. Where are you? Oh, and you have six more divisions over there, just kind of hanging out. Uh, well, we've got a full stack over here. I'm going to keep making these units. Ooh. And actually, I'm going to put these guys here. I'm going to call this... Uh, against the Germans in Asia, because the Germans will eventually get to Asia. And I'm going to add, let's see, you. Uh, we've got enough command power for this. Reconnaissance, promotion cost, more attack. Maurice Rose, who's an infantry guy who's pretty good? I don't like this, the old guard. I don't, really don't like the old guards. Oscar Griswold. Uh, you or him? Definitely this guy, because he's got two more attack and two more skill. I'm going to promote you. Probably a bad idea to promote a guy who's, like, level one. Actually, it is a bad idea to do that. But, let's see. You, I want to give your friend here, Russell Hart, Hartle. Or not Russell. Ah, uh, he's politically connected. I don't like politically connected people. And then what we're going to do, we're going to just put ourselves over here. We're going to act like we're going to invade Canada. Pretty normal, right? Pretty darn normal. Uh, you guys keep doing that. Eh, actually, I could probably throw you on here, but... Yeah. Four tanks, come over here. Yeah. You guys do the exact same thing I'm doing with this other group. And Actually, I'm going to put you in New York since they probably have better infrastructure. That'll be good. Go ahead and be stationed like that. Let's see, this is the Pacific Coast, so we can put you guys... On that new group I just made, so we don't have to deal with this too much more. We lost another sub. We lost two more planes. The Japanese must be not making as many ships now instead of they're producing much more planes. Oof. All right. Are you guys ready to... Where's my marine? Yeah, you just you just don't want to leave. You're pathetic. I'm, I'm tempted to delete you because you just refuse to listen to orders. Why aren't you... Yeah, this Marine Division is going AWOL, basically, so I'm not even going to use you. Uh, however, I need both of you. Actually, you're still here. Do that. And then you, I want you to invade from here to here. This should honestly not take you that long. Four days. They might get hit in the water. I mean, they're very low strength. But, you know, we might have to risk that. What am I not getting enough of? Rubber. Uh, oh, 
That's not good. Uh, yeah, that's not good. I guess I'll get six from Brazil to help offset that a little bit. Please don't capitulate, UK. Because the Soviets, oh my gosh. They're pushing all the way to the Urals now. Over here, that's so bad. Uh oh. Alright, nothing happened, nothing happened. Nothing, nothing. And then we shot down an enemy plane. But they do have a Japanese di infantry division over there. Awesome, you guys are moving around. Yeah, I really don't like this division here. Invade from here and come to here. Go when you can. Oh, nice. Oh, we can get... Oh, let's get the patent. Heck yeah. Let's see, you guys, medium tanks. Oh, I didn't even give you maxed out medium tanks. Well, that's my bad. Oh, we're making some nuclear reactors. That's good. Oh, that's... And we lost two convoys. That could be worse. Could be a lot worse. We could lose another sub like we did just there. Um... Another 100 heavy fighters, because I will move these guys around eventually as well. Mariana region. Oh, Japan came back with a vengeance down here, huh. I don't want to do this. I really don't, but I have to risk it. Naval invasion support so we can get rid of these enemy planes here so that we have absolute domination in the skies. And pretty much that will go very well for us. Lost another sub, Jesus. Yeah, they've been increasing their air support or something here. Holy cow. And awesome, we took it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, you took that island. Awesome. Yep. Even at little strength, they can still do very well. Is this guy going yet? Are you going? Are you leaving? I'm... Alright, so, as punishment, you're, you're going back to the mainland. And if you can't go back there, I'm just going to delete you. Seriously, this is retarded. This is so stupid. They're not even going. Like, what are you doing with your life, man? Unable to find path to target? Is that... Is this why? Would this be better? Can you do anything about your life? Now you're going? Because I just clicked on this. That This is stupid. You should. This should be mostly just for convoys. And I even had it, on, I think, on avoid. Like, if I tell you to go somewhere... You're gonna freaking go somewhere. Now hold. Now, will you go back? Piece of garbage. Garbage division, man. Oh, there's actually a division here that even with minimal strength, the Marines are still trying to push hard into this little island here. And we've got a probably a ton of shore bombardment. Oh my gosh, I'm glad to do shore bombardment. Mostly, I think our battleship's doing that. Maybe the planes are helping out in this battle. I don't know. And we do have air enemy superiority. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, 58. 60. We might just win this one. 62, 63. Good, 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 good. Oh, we s lost four destroyers that were Dutch. Five J Filipino convoys, and then all four are heavy cruiser. Well, I personally didn't lose anything, and we sunk another heavy cruiser, so that's not too bad. House Committee supports presidential policy. We lost a convoy. I lost two. Oh my god, what's going on here? Not, lost another sub. Yeah, we definitely... God dang it. So many things are getting sunk. Uh, how's this going? You know what? M you might just be able to come from here and help invade this island before they're done. Maybe. Good. Yeah, from here, we are going to invade this area probably, Papal. Definitely at least Bismarck. Because the Australians could really use their help. Would really, really use their help. And we have taken it. Good. Alright, so all of you knuckleheads will all come from here. And you will invade the port over here. And maybe right here. Go ahead. Go down there. And the Japanese must have quite a few supply convoys coming into here. Or I could just avoid this. Completely avoid this. Oh, the Australians are dead. Oh, they're dead. God dang it. I could ignore it. I could completely ignore it. And do a invasion of these islands. Yeah, screw that. Australia, if you can't help yourself, I'm sorry. I've been killing so many convoys, it's not even funny. And then we will come all here. 
I want all three divisions going to this one spot. Uh, actually, no. I don't want that. No, 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 no. What am I saying? I want all three divisions to come... Where are they? Oh, right here. And I want you to come to Saipan. And then... To invade the air base as well, which would knock out quite a few planes, if they have any, out of this region. Now, they are sinking quite a few ships. You know, whatever. Good, good, good. And then, now, let's move these guys over to the Pacific. Uh, is it under this guy we want? No, we want you over here. And actually, that would make you 10 out of 10. So this is the max number that you can have. You will do some convoy raiding. With that. With engage at low risk. And I'm going to add you to the Bismarck Sea just in case. Some of these guys are doing okay. 8. Oh, Task Force 2 has 23 subs. I need subs in my Task Force 6. Let's see. Subs, subs. Task Force Florida. Task Force Oregon. I have no subs going to individual task forces. Well, that's going to be a problem. Actually, I'm going to wait, though, to produce any more subs because it is 1944 and we can get the next level of subs, which I will definitely have to use against the Germans. What is this? Five capital ships. Oh! Something's going on down here. We're seeing, seeing some convoys. Uh, let's see. Yeah. This area. You know what? We'll, do, we'll be okay on that, but yeah, keep avoiding the coast of Japan, East China Sea. South China Sea is okay. Hmm, yeah, not bad. Alright then. A few more convoys. Oh, two more convoys. I mean, yeah, we're, we're avoiding this area. Whatever. As fast as possible. Oh, Sanders speaks out against us. Whatever. Because if we take out Japan, we take out everyone. That's pretty much it. Nice. Good. Two more convoys sunk. Another destroyer sunk. Oh my gosh. There's so many things going on down here. Let's see. And actually, invasion support. You will be not coming here anymore. You'll be up here with our strike force fleet. Now, this is where the fun begins. <laughs> oh boy. Too many prequel memes in this one episode. Uh, patrol... Oh, you're struggling. You're definitely struggling. Alright. Plane levels. Uh, actually, you guys don't really have that much experience. I'm going to get rid of you guys and add in 100 Naval Bomber... 800 Naval Bomber 2s. Holy cow. I mean, it's slightly better range. Not not by a bunch, but slightly better range. Actually... Ooh, we sunk seven more Japanese convoys, as well as three more Japanese convoys. Since we're down here, and we've sunk 14 more convoys, and we have so many spots here filled with divisions, finally, to help guard the provinces, I'm going to actually send you the Caroline Island province. What you're going to do is build up a massive airbase. Oh, you already have an airbase. Well, even better. Uh, we'll give you that as well. And... I want to keep making more and more nuclear reactors. So, we'll do that. So that this way, we can have 46 convoys. 13 more convoys. Oh, my good lord. Oh. Well, add 200 naval bombers here and add a few heavy fighters here. Do that, 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 and that. And just have your way in the Bismarck Sea. Just, you know, I, give them the nasty. Give them the American nasty. Oh. Yes. Marines, the love of God, I hope you're ready to go. And actually, send another 100 uh, planes here as well, just in case they might send someone against our planes, our ships, our convoys. Ooh. Oh, wait, what are you doing? You're not doing anything here. Yeah, what are you... Yeah, you were doing nothing here. Socialist Republic of... Oh, wait. Oh, I clicked too fast. They actually misspelled Finland. They spelled Finland with three N's. How is the Soviet Union still holding out? Holy crap. That's nuts. Oh, right. So, are the Marines ready to go? They are almost ready to go. Almost.
52% strength. They're all kind of green. They're not very experienced. Which is, I suppose, my fault. But whatever, you know. A carrier primacy, battleship, base strike. Mm, trade convoys, naval dockyard speeds. Build the Pentagon. Let's build the Pentagon so we get faster planning speed. Kind of like that. Uh, oh, ten more Japanese convoys. Coup in Romania. The Australians are trying to come out. Uh, good luck, guys. I'm completely ignoring that right now. Oh, the Japanese have done quite an offensive back into Mandalay. Because before, they had all of, like, almost all of Yunnan. So that's not good. Let's look at Destroyer Hull. Another Destroyer. We lost three Allied convoys. Bet. Oh, wow, it disappears. And we sunk another destroyer. And five subs. Holy crap. Japan, what's your navy looking like? Less than 50 ships. Less than 50 ships. Jesus Christ, Soviet Union. You're down to 400,000 manpower. 400 some divisions, maybe. What about the German Reich? Almost 700 divisions. 140 ships. Oh my god. And that's a problem when you don't open up a second front. Alright, anyways, uh, just go ahead. Try it out. You never know what might happen. Wait. Wait. What? Do you see this? We own Chile. Not we, but our ally does. Chile owns Iwo Jima. What the heck? Dang. I mean, you, you give South America a bunch of crap for having some of, probably some of the worst infrastructure and fighting down here. But holy crap, Chile. Oh, oh my gosh, you've been doing so well. You invaded Iwo Jima. You've been killing enemy convoys with your subs. I mean, can we give this guy a gold star or something? Oh, let's get those. Holy crap, Chile, what are you doing? You're beasting it here, man. Oh, and we took this area. Awesome. Took out that air base. Cool. Uh, let's have one more naval invasion before we go. Let's see, we'll go from Saipan to this island. And then we'll send these two divisions to invade from Saipan as well to, not there, but this area because they have an airbase. Very good. We will heal up a little bit more. We have full access here. And coasts and defenses. So we currently need 39. Um, we can finally do that. You might as well guard that island. Guard that island. That's not looking too bad. We need 41, but we have 53. That's good. That's very good. Chile, I don't know what to say except thank you. Like, you saved a few hundred American lives probably. Ooh, two more destroyers sunk. Two more destroyers sunk. We lost two more convoys. And we hit, oh, a Peruvian destroyer. Oh, we forgot about this island. We will take this island out as well, eventually. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, Task Force 6 needs some repairs as well as Reserve Fleet 6. They, you wouldn't think of sending your reserve fleets out to attack for you, right? They would never expect another fleet like that. Uh, we could do some of this, but we definitely need better planes. Let's do that. Oh, sunk two Peruvian subs. We lost probably two more convoys. And we've got three ships here. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? A couple more Japanese convoys, alright. Very nice. And let's send the Marines out. We've only been using three Marine Divisions to do all this. Kind of nuts. We've almost lost two of them completely. But still kind of nuts. Alright, thank god. Now we can do the Detroit Arsenal. So we get more medium tank production and armor research speed when we're getting that last modern tank. Very good. And we took this area down here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see what happens over here. And then we will invade that small island next. Go ahead and set yourself up for success. Always have to set yourself up for success. And then come down over here. You... Oh, Paolao. That's... I've heard that... That's had some stories before. It's not easy... It wasn't easy to take in real life. Amphibious tractors or Amtraks. I've heard that these are extremely good. So I definitely want to try those out. Lost a convoy. Japanese are just expanding crazily down here. But the British Malayans have been holding out for quite some time. Just don't lose Kuching. You'll be okay. And we've taken this place over here as well. Very nice job, guys. Very nice. This will actually be very, very beneficial to us. Because once we take this island, I'm going to ignore all this. I'm going straight for Okinawa. And we will come from 
here in the South China Sea. Oh, maybe not the South. Uh, we'll go from the South China Sea to Taiwan. Or one Bay, Taiwan. We will. Just don't die on your way over here. And actually, uh, instead of invasion support over here, since we already have some screens over here, do this and do some patrolling. I want you guys to rebase, though, uh, in Manila. Moving to naval base Manila, so that way they know where to go when they might get hit a little bit. They might get hit. And before we leave, I just I will show you. I will give them about 200 more fighters, heavy fighters, of course, to guard the South China Sea. Uh, very good, very good, very good. And I could end it here. I really need to end it very soon. And I will end here before we try to invade that last island in the Philippine Sea that's not owned by us. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. We're ending it here. The Soviet Union will collapse by the end of the next episode. We have done a great job taking a bunch of islands here in the Pacific. Japan is, unfortunately, expanding in Papau. And a little bit in Kalimantan. But we have been doing great as well. And our next stop is Taiwan, Okinawa, and then Japan herself. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as a very democratic Republican America. Thanks for watching.